Hello, viewers. Miss Cal here. I'm going to wet some of this up and try and make some crucibles. Hopefully that pipe there and these bits of uh, junk I found laying around will help do the job. Give it a mix and then I'll come back. It's really clumping together in a way that would suggest it's going to bind quite nicely when pressed. So, yeah, I'm just trying to break all the clumps up so that all the moisture is evenly distributed. I don't get pockets in it. If I get a 100% uh, bone ash crucible, the coupling should work really well. I've put too much water in there. Really a good clumpy um, consistency. It should press well. It's actually rolled up into a really nice clay. Look at that. I just pressed it together a bit more because there was cracks in it, and I thought that might make, you know, pockets in the thing. So, all right, well let's slide that in there, and we'll try and shape it up with those two tools I've got next to it. Okay, so you can get it back from uh, if it's too wet and it ends up a slurry. You just put more powder in until it becomes like short crate, uh, short crust like dough. Um, you can actually roll it from that point when you've got just the right amount of water in it. You can go from crumbly and you can roll it and it'll come together. Actually, a non-Newtonian fluid. It's really quite a weird feeling stuff. Once it comes together, you can sort of stretch it and hit it, and it'll lock up. Anyway, so I've put a plug in there, and I've tamped it down and smoothed it off with that thing. And then I found the easiest way to do it is um, dust that so it'll release. And just press that down in there. slide it off that and then just push it all the way through well there they are in the order that they were made that one got some rust contamination in it so that'll need cleaning out if it's going to get used do all, all right. I've read that it will take about two weeks um, to be dry right now with the winter air. Yeah, works well. Just got to get the moisture content right. Thanks for watching.